Hello viewers, welcome to my channel PMCE. In this video, we are going to see single digit addition, both horizontal and vertical type of addition. Addition is one of the basic mathematical operations on numbers, which you will learn in class 1. Let us go into the details of this video now to understand what is horizontal and vertical type of addition. Horizontal means a sleeping line. In this type of addition, the numbers are written side by side and added in a horizontal manner. For example, 2 plus 1 equal to 3. The answer is written after the equal to. How to add this without the usage of objects? I will tell you as we go into the details of this video now. First, let us understand that horizontal addition means adding in a straight line. The numbers will be written in a straight line and the addition will be done. Next, let us understand what is vertical addition. Vertical means a line in the standing position is said to be in vertical. In this type of addition, the numbers are written one below the other and the plus symbol is put on the left side and the answer is written below like this. Let me repeat again. In vertical type of addition, the numbers to be added are written one below the other and the plus symbol is written on the left side and the answer is written at the bottom like this. Now that we have understood what is horizontal and vertical type of addition, let us do some example sums to add numbers in both horizontal and vertical type of addition methods. First, let us begin with the horizontal method of addition. Here, we have two numbers to be added. 3 plus 2 equal to dash. We know that in addition, Two numbers are added using the symbol plus which represents addition and the answer in addition is called as the total or the sum which is written after the equal to symbol. The method now I am going to teach you is called as the mind and fingers method. Let us see how to add these two numbers using mind and fingers method. Now in 3 plus 2 keep the number 3 in the mind and hold the number 2 in your fingers like this. Addition means always adding in the forward direction. Now we will have to add 3 plus 2. We have 3 in the mind and 2 in the fingers. So after 3 it will be 4, 5. So, 3 plus 2 is equal to 5. Let me explain this once again. When you add two numbers, 3 plus 2, for example, have the number 3 in the mind. That is the first number in the mind. And the number to be added, hold it in the fingers like this. And addition means adding in the forward direction. So, you will start counting in the forward direction. You have 3 in the mind. After 3, it is 4, 5. So, the answer is 5. Let us do the next example now. We have 5 plus 4. So, 5 in the mind and 4 in your fingers. After 5, it will be 6, 7, 8, 9. So, the answer is 9. Hope you are able to understand how the mind and fingers calculation is done. Let us do some more examples to understand this concept better. Next we have the number 11 plus 5. So now you will have 11 in your mind and the number 5 in your fingers. After 11 it will be 12, 13, 14, 15 and 16. So the answer is 16. 11 plus 5 is equal to 
16. Let us do another example. We have 7 plus 7. So 7 in the mind and how will you keep 7 fingers? It will be 5 fingers on one hand and 2 fingers on your other hand. So it will be 7 plus 7. So after 7 it is 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 and 14. So 7 plus 7 the sum is equal to 14. Let us move on to the next example now. We have 8 plus 0. From the properties of addition, we have already learned that when 0 is added to any number, the answer will be the same number. So 8 plus 0 is equal to 8. I have dealt with the properties of addition in a separate video, the link to which is given in the iCard section and also in the description box. So we will have 8 plus 0 equal to 8 as the answer. In the next property of addition, we also learned that when 1 is added to any number, the answer will be the next number. So in this case, we have 25 plus 1. The next number after 25 is 26. So the answer for 25 plus 1 will be equal to 26. Let us do two more examples now. The numbers we have here for addition are 67 plus 6. So have 67 in the mind and 6 in your fingers. How will you keep 6 in the fingers? Keep 5 fingers in one hand and 1 finger in the other hand. So now 67 plus 6. So after 67 it is 68, 69, 70, 71, 72, 73. So the answer is 73. Dear viewers, it is very important for the children to know the numbers in series right from 1 to 100 and then for the higher numbers also. Otherwise addition using this kind of method will be difficult for them. Let us move on to the next example now. Here we have 39 plus 8. So have 39 in the mind and 8 in the fingers. To keep 8 in the fingers, you will have to have 5 fingers in one hand and 3 fingers in the other hand. So now after 39, it is 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46 and 47. So the answer for 39 plus 8 will be equal to 47. So hope horizontal type of addition is very clear. Next we will be dealing with vertical type of addition. So stay with me till the end of this video. Before that, dear viewers, if you like my video, please do hit the subscribe button as it definitely adds value to my channel. Do not forget to tap on the bell button and choose the all option to get regular notifications of all the videos that I make in my channel. Let us learn vertical addition now. We saw that vertical addition means numbers are written in vertical direction one below the other. So here we have 8 plus 4. In vertical addition, the plus symbol is written to the left of the second number and the answer is written at the bottom. So the method of addition is going to be the same. So now have 8 in the mind and 4 in your fingers. So after 8 it will be 9, 10, 11, 12. So the sum of 8 plus 4 will be equal to 12. Let us do the next sum now. We have 6 plus 3. 6 in the mind and 3 in the fingers. So after 6, 7, 8, 9. So sum of 6 plus 3 is equal to 9. Let us do some more examples. We have the numbers 5 plus 5. 5 in your mind and 5 in the fingers. After 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So the sum of 5 plus 5 is equal to 10. Let us do the next example. 7 plus 9. 
seven in the mind and nine in the fingers. How will you keep nine in the fingers? You will have five fingers in one hand and four fingers in the other hand. So after seven it will be eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. So the sum of seven plus nine is equal to sixteen. Let us do a few more examples to understand the vertical type of addition. The next set of numbers we have are 2 plus 6. So 2 in the mind and 6 in the fingers. You will have 5 fingers in one hand and 1 finger in the other hand. So after 2 it will be 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So the sum of 2 plus 6 is equal to 8. The next sum we have is 8 plus 2. So 8 in the mind and 2 in your fingers. After 8, it is 9, 10. The answer is 8 plus 2 is equal to 10. Let us do another example now. 4 plus 0. Again, based on the property of addition, we know that when 0 is added to any number, the answer will be the same number. So 4 plus 0 is equal to 4. In horizontal addition or vertical addition or whatever way of addition, when 0 is added to any number, the answer will be the same number. Next, 9 plus 1. From the properties of addition, we also know that when 1 is added to any number, the answer is the next number. So 9 plus 1 will give you the answer 10 which is the next number of 9. In the learning outcome in class 1 under the topic addition, we have completed the topic single digit addition with objects, properties of addition, single digit addition with numbers, both horizontal and vertical type of addition. All these three uh, topics are covered in separate videos. The upcoming topics addition using number line, addition of two digit numbers without regrouping or carryover, addition of three single digit numbers, addition of two digit numbers with regrouping or carryover, story sums and addition concept worksheet will also be dealt in separate videos and links to all the related videos will be given below in the description box. You may also click on the in-screen videos which will take you to the playlist containing the videos for class 1 mathematical operations on numbers. Dear viewers, if you find my video useful, give a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Please do provide your comments in the comment section. Thank you for watching my video. See you again.